The sexual exploitation of girls has really become a national crisis and the public needs to hear these stories. Girls who are unable to protect themselves from those who sell and abuse them because so many of us are unaware or don't care about their plight. The age of, the, of entry into trafficking is 12 to 14 years old. These are children. These are our children. And if we don't do something about it, who will? For the first time, the general public is getting a glimpse into how pervasive sex trafficking is. While there are as many uh, suspected cases of, of trafficking victims in the states as there are murders, 75% of the murders are resolved and less than 1% of those trafficking cases are even looked into. I broke out the basement and I went and called the police. It's a really big and global picture. It's partially our society, partially our family, partially our schools. I don't think there's any one area where we can point a finger and say, this is the problem. If we are subsidizing this really pernicious view of sexuality, uh, the objectification of women, the objectification of young girls, then we're part of the problem. You know, when somebody tells you if you say something, you're, you're, they're going to kill your mom and your family, you're not going to say anything because you don't want the people that you love most to get hurt. There are many young women and girls who have become hooked on drugs, and they may not yet consider themselves prostitutes, but they are looking for a way to help fund that need and so they are turning to um, selling themselves for money. For the drugs I get them wherever I could at from pretty much anyone and I felt that I had to pay them back somehow. These girls, these children are here living and dying in our cities, in our towns. We don't see them because we don't want to. We don't help them because we tell ourselves that we can't. Finding out that one of the girls that have been missing has been found dead somewhere, that's a tremendous loss. And no parent should ever have to go through that. I hope that everybody listening to this extraordinarily important documentary will find the time to get involved, to help, because the urgency is now.